Hello and welcome to 885 microprocessor programming tutorial with training kit and simulator and emulator. Today in this video I will talk about two complement of a number and here in this video I will also show you two new application for Windows and as well as Android mobile to do the 885 microprocessor programming kit via emulator. So watch this video till the end. Was the previous video of programming of 885 microprocessor? I have used GNU 885, and here it is another simulator, and it is a different one. And this is the Java enabled simulator. If you have a Java training kit installed, latest Java training kit installed on your computer, Windows computer, you can use this simulator. I have given the link in the description where you can find this dot jar file about 500 kilobyte and we have to download it and just have to click and open it from your computer and your this type of screen will appear and here I can introduce you this is the idea editor this is the assembler I will say what is assembler later and let's first go to the and other thing in this register or something is there but it is not very convenient as the GNU 885 but here is something special in this simulator so I will show you here in this video so watch this video so here I am going what I am going to do to complement of a number and it is from fetching from a memory location so that my program please make two complement of a number which is stored at some location and the two complement of the number after complementing it will store another location so here I will show you the code the first code will be LDA8000 so there is something value is stored in LDA8000 and it will make a complement so CMA is used for the complement CMA is used for complement INI will increase so CMA what we will do once complement of the number not two complement our program is two complement so INRA so it will add one to the number and it will make a two complement so here I didn't use ADI because ADI is a two byte instruction but INRA is a one byte instruction so that's why I have used INRA another one Next STN DT000 and storing the tooth complement of the number in D000 and and completing the program using HLT. Here is the assemble button. Assemble will do assembling this code into a hex code and it will check the code is right or wrong. So click on the assemble. So here you can see uh, assemble will detect the instructions and corresponding hex code as well as how many bytes required all the things have been written and here you will see that you, here is the run all program at a time or step by step as the 0885 f5 option was the step by step so this is pretty similar so I am going to do run all at a time so it's run all at a time and your tax have been completed but here I am going to do using how you will check the answers because here it is the answers you cannot find easily from the memory because I have stored in the memory and the D000 but in this simulator you cannot find very easily D000 so if you go to D000 So here it is D000 nothing was there so I am going to do this using a training kit emulator. So to do this go to the view and go to the 85 microprocessor training kit or press the F9 button. And here you can see 
this is the recent uh, is pretty like the same as the trading kit but here is some difference something difference because next and the previous button is not there so to next button you have to press enter key of your keyboard and previous button you can use backspace so here is reset and here is go here is execute here is exam memory or set memory so this four button it will work and you have to do work with these others are not important and, was, and go is also important so and this one is the hexadecimal code so i am going to run this program and remember if you enter a0 or something you can also use keyboard not by tapping here you can also use keyboard so it will be very fast for you to type this so i am going to do this program here using trading kit emulator and the process will be same reset ex exam memory then memory then the hex code then after completing you have to press again the go then exam memory the or memory location then have to press execute to compile the program again have to be go to the exam memory at the stored location or output will do the same so i'm going but before starting this code i am going to store some value in a triple zero because it will fetch the value from that location not from the user or the value from the book because I have not used a BI so I'm going to store some value in the 8000 location so to do this you have to press reset then have to press set on exam memory then have to press a triple zero Then have to press enter of your keyboard then have to press i'm pressing storing 05 in that then have to press enter and your five have been stored in the a000 to check it you have to press reset exam memory then a triple zero enter and here it will see the five already stored in a triple zero so it will remember if the trading kit does not store any value after pressing this close button so very careful about that uh, before performing all the tasks don't press the close button because the assembly code all you can save using this assembly code you can save it from controllers but you cannot save the registry or the trading kit data for the future purpose so again i'm going to perform this hex code simultaneously so i'm doing it and I am going to start the program from 9000 memory so here I am pressing 3A from the first one and I will do as the code here is written And here I am using HALT or 76 or 76 to stop this one because I have used RST1 or CF in the previous turning kit so that is something different here. Programming written have been completed and I am going to compile it to do this reset go 9000 then I have to press execute all the programs have been started from 9000 and I've been executed and now I have to find the result before finding the result I will show you how the tools complement will work inside the microprocessor I'm going to find out the tools complement of 05 hexadecimal code and first of all microprocessor what you will do first convert this 05 to equivalent binary here it is the equivalent binary of 5 is 0101 and the equivalent 0 of hex code is 0000 in 4 bit so next it will con it will do the once complement by using cma complement accumulator so here it is 0 will comes 1 this is the 1111 of 0000 once complement and again 1010 as the once complement of 5 here so next it will add 1 to the once complement to find out the two's complement using the inr so what it will do just one is adding to the last zero of the 
right side so the result will come one and others will be the same so final two scope level is one 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 zero one one so again it is converting to the hexadecimal so one 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 hexadecimal equivalent is f and one zero one one equivalent is b so result should come fb let's go to the emulator and find out what the results coming out there is fv or something else the result will be fb so i'm going to just checking and confirming the result is stored inside this microprocessor is fv or something else so to do this reset exam memory and i have stored here in d triple zero so after doing this you have to press the enter button and here it is fb so your result matched with the formula i have shown in the previous program have been done in this windows simulator and i will show you again using this using android simulator or android app you can do it very easily from your android mobile let's do it I have already given the Intel 8 simulator download link of Play Store in the description. You can download it from there and here is the app interface. Here is all the exam memory reset button is there in the bottom and the hex code button in the top and here you can do is next because everything is available as original microprocessor. So I am going to do this. First of all I am going to save this 5 in the A000 location using the exam memory. So after doing this I am doing starting the program from 9000 and I am pressing the 9000 and 3A will be there to load accumulator or LDA. So I am doing it as the code is in the left side of the screen. <laughs> Now I am going to find out the result that stored in D000 is FV or not and it is, it is FV so result have been matched. If you found this video helpful, like this video, share this video and comment your query and don't forget to subscribe Somtis to get more videos like this. See you soon in the next video. Thank you.